Gary Clark, do you have a few minutes for me to talk to you about our Lord and Saviour, Agent 47? I do indeed, mate. I do, yeah. Good, good. Right, well, that's what I'm going to do because obviously this is uh, this is the return of Hitman. Um, it's quite a storied franchise in uh, in gaming. That's uh, you know, it's, it's had a few ups and downs, and obviously we've had two really bad movies come from it as well, <laughs> which I don't really want to talk about. But uh, <laughs> we've um, we've got the uh, we've got the the code through for the Paris level of Hitman, um, which is set in the Palais de la de Valesqua. I think that's probably butchered the pronunciation of it. But... Easy for you to say. I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, Agent 47's back. Um, he is uh, been given a, a, a target of a guy called Victor Novikov and uh, Dahlia Margolis. Um, without giving too much away, they're essentially leaders of a, a pretty shady organisation, but uh, Novikov also fronts like a massive fashion brand and agent 47 has to go in to this massive mansion and has to essentially take them both out mm. um the way that you do it in classic hitman style and th- this is the the key thing for me is that it is like the classic style of hitman game yeah you go in you have a target you essentially figure out a way to get to your target and you can do it however the hell you want to. Um, yeah. There are set, there are kind of set pieces in there that you can you can do as well. Um, there's a new mechanic which is really quite cool. Um, it's uh, called opportunities. So as you go through, um, as you go through the level, like you, you'll walk past someone and you'll start to overhear a conversation that they're having. Um, and if you turned on the prompts, it will pop up on the screen and it will say an opportunity is arising. Do you want to track it? Um, if you track that opportunity, what it will do is it will say, "Okay, right." So, for example, um, there's a there's a uh, um, a model that looks suspiciously like forty seven. <laughs> um, he's he's a tall, bald man, um, and his uh, his makeup conveniently hides his eyes and his his mouth. So his like his main features of his face are kind of slightly obscured. Okay. So. You overhear someone saying, "Oh man, I'd kill for that jawline." And then, as you walk past as forty-seven, they'll go, "Hey, that guy looks a little bit like him." <laughs> um, and then it sort of prompts you to go and find the guy, and then you can go and find the guy, and then um, do what you need to do. And essentially, event you know, you'll, you'll eventually end up in his clothes with his makeup on, yeah. walking down the catwalk. Um, and you then have like almost the perfect disguise in a way. Um, and it, it's all about those those moments, really. Um, I mean, they're there. You can use those to your advantage if you want to create yeah. one of the big set pieces. But if you want to do it in your own style, you can do. Like it's it's a complete open playground, if you like. Um, mm. Just they've gone well. You know, IO have essentially just created this this massive, beautiful environment. I mean, I know we spoke on the podcast. Um, recently, and we said that we weren't overly impressed with the visuals in the beta. Yeah. But oh my god, the lighting in this game is something else, um, and it really does look. It, it looks extremely nice, like in in uh, in certain areas. Mm. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you if you've got any questions for me uh, about it, just fire them at me, and I'll uh, I'll sort of try to uh, try to answer them. Yeah, so like I, I haven't obviously played um, what you've been playing, but I've mm-hmm. played the beta, yep. um, and I was actually quite sort of shocked by how much I enjoyed it because, like, I've spoken on a previous podcast about like when we see it at Gamescom last year, yeah. um, I wasn't overly sort of uh, what's the word overly sort of fussed by it. Yeah. Um, it just didn't grab me. But when I sort of downloaded the beta and started playing it, I was actually surprised just how much I did enjoy it. Um, the biggest thing for me was just like you've sort of alluded about, um, like the way you can take any mission essentially, whichever way you want. Um, it's just like you say, it's just an open sort of playground as such. Um, yeah. And there's just like yeah, loads of different ways you can do it. Um, so, is uh, obviously the beta is only a small slice of what is coming essentially. Um, yeah. Uh, was there anything that sort of stood out for you that was better in? in the sort of part you played rather than the beta any sort of mechanics that were sort of slightly sort of better well i mean the beta that was that was put out um on the ps4 was for 
um, the prologue, which is essentially yeah. um, there's a, uh, like the training missions on a on a boat, which is kind of crudely reconstructed out of uh, sheets of um, plywood and, and all yeah. the rest of it, uh, with an incredible like makeshift helicopter on the uh, on the top deck of it which just looks fantastic mm. um and then you've also got uh you also had a like a, an area in a, a warehouse um, or in a, an aircraft hangar as it's probably better known as because it's got a plane in it um you've got uh, that area in the warehouse where um you have to try and you know figure out a way to kill this guy and, and one of the ways you can do it is by tampering, tampering with the aircraft yeah. and, and sticking him in the ejector seat um Obviously, that's one of the ways that it kind of funnels you into, and that's what I was saying about the uh, about the opportunities. Because mm. I think in the beta, when you when you jumped over the fence, you'd hear two guys over talk, you know, talking about. That's right. Oh yeah. yeah, you know, well, we need to check the manifest and all the rest of it, and it kind of said, okay, right, well, this is an opportunity. Do you want to follow this? Mm. That's a perfect example of how it works in the game. Okay. Um. So if you want to, um, you can sort of follow the set. Like there's about five or six set paths that the um, that the game offers you for each person to kill. So like there's there's I'll say there's two targets, um, and it, it offers you those five or six ways to to go after them. You can obviously do it in your own way, mm. but if you were to go down those paths, there are some very cool finales to them. I mean, I've done I think I've done two or three of them. Um, for each of them and yeah the the, the ones uh for mr novikov in particular are are quite special okay. um there's one that was uh <laughs> there was one that was uh hinted at in a trailer um with regard to the lighting rig um ah um, yeah yeah um I remember. yeah that's uh that's quite cool when you get it done um it takes a lot of work to do it, but when you do do it, it's it's quite impressive. Mm. Um, and that's that's the like that's their big show pieces. Um, one of the things that I did, um, one of the, the sort of criticisms I've got of it, and I think I've I've said this to you already, is that um, sort of you know away from the, away from the site is I was able to essentially run through the mission. Um, I ran in, ran downstairs, got a uh, got a, a palace. Um, waiter's uniform and managed to get another uniform which allowed me access to um, everywhere um, and I kind of ran downstairs got this uniform ran at the target stabbed them in the neck ran out while guards were chasing me and then ran downstairs found the other target um, because I'd lost my one I'd lost my knife when it was stuck in their neck I'd, I'd, <laughs> I'd like got my gun out and um, grabbed him and shot him and then ran out into a helicopter that was in the guard uh, on the lawn, and then escaped via the helicopter. It's like if you want to do it that way, like you can do. The game doesn't necessarily punish you for it. Um, it doesn't make it impossible for you to do that, as as I've proven. But yeah. it does make it very difficult for you to, um, to 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 kind of action your way out of things, if you like. Mm. But I think that the, the what I said to you is that it's almost like there's an excuse of it being. Um, like the, the confusion that reigns in that situation. Yeah. Um, like everyone's kind of in shock and th- there's a huge amount of, of, um, of NPCs in this. I think, uh, I can't remember what it was somewhere. I think I read somewhere that there's about 400 NPCs. Wow. Um, in this, in this, uh, mansion. So, so over 300 simulated NPCs, it says. Mm. Um, and then you've also got like individual characters within those three or in addition to those 300 rather that have got, yeah. uh, you know, like specific things that you can do, like, you know, you can steal a disguise or you can take the uniform or anything like that. But the the confusion that reigns in that, it allows you that opportunity to kind of just run and, and mm. get out of where you need to be. Um, the AI was a little bit wonky of, uh, a couple of times, but, I mean, on the whole, it's it's really solid. Um, yeah, I, I was going to ask you about the sort of AI side of it um, because I had issues in the beta as well where... Um, it wasn't necessarily bad, but you could sort of see that it was a bit janky in places. Um, yeah, I think I think it's janky is probably a, a fair word for it. It's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, um, mm. but for the most part, it is it is very good, and it's it's very good in the key areas that you need as well, which is um, which, which is essential, really. Yeah, like you you can't um, you, you know when you when you walk up to a certain flight of stairs, for example, if you've got a 
if you've got a certain uniform on, the guys will just go like they'll sort of no, yeah. move in a little bit and go, no, sorry, sir, you can't come here. And if you start to move past them, they'll immediately turn around and start trying to like to catch you. And if you just run, they'll shoot at you. Yeah. Um, yeah. If you go up with another uniform on, they'll go like, okay, right, come on, time for a pat down, and they'll frisk you. Mm. So if you've got a pistol on you, you go, oh shit, yeah. I don't know if I can do this. And then like if if they spot you, they'll go hang on a minute, you can't bring that in here. And then they'll try and arrest you in there. Um, but then there are certain uh, costumes, or certain disguises rather, that will uh, they'll just allow you to run straight up the stairs. Um, mm. Because if you're disguised well enough, they'll just go like, oh, hey, it's you, up you go. Yeah. And they'll just let you straight through. So if you've got, if, if you're willing to kind of make that effort to get the better and the, the, the higher level of disguise, it's it'll be really good. Yeah. Um, and you know, in, t- in terms of the access that you've got, um, one of the key things actually with with the AI is the interaction of everybody. So, if you start off as, um, I think I said like a waiter, that waiter's uniform will allow you to go anywhere within a certain, like a certain level of the uh, of the mansion of the, of the yeah. palace. So, like you'll have you'll be able to go anywhere on the first floor. If you then try and um, if you try and walk past a supervisor, like a um, a waiter supervisor or you know, like a, a staff supervisor, they they'll be marked with a little circle above their head. If you go past them and they see you, they'll go, "Hang on a minute, you're not one of my staff. You come here yeah. and and try and do that." But if you um, if you then like go as um, that guy and walk past, I don't know, like one of the the security supervisors, they might not necessarily know that you're not supposed to be there. Mm. So there's 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 that element of everybody in the world is marked with a dot if they know that you're not supposed to be there. Yeah, it's similar. I remember playing the beta. There's like um, sort of like mechanics at the start. Um, mm. Yeah. And there's one guy that essentially is like the supervisor. He sort of knows who's working. And if yeah. you sort of walk past him and he sees your face, then he sort of detects that you're not you're not um, part of his crew sort of thing. So, yeah, that, that's I, I did like that in the beta. I thought it was a nice little touch. Yeah. It sort of, it, it's more, it makes it more tactical. You've got to sort of think about where you're, where you're going. It, like, you don't want to sort of run into these people who sort of know who their workers are. So Yeah, I mean, that, that's the thing. Like, if, you know, if, you're working in a, if you're working in a busy bar or something like that, you'll see somebody come in with like a high-vis jacket and you'll think, you know, they've probably got a tag on somewhere and they go, oh, that's, yeah, they're, they're fine, they're, they're all right. But if mm. you're their immediate supervisor you'll know, hang on a minute, that's not one of my staff. And it's yeah. like, it's the level of interaction between the different um, levels of AI that's that's really impressive. Yeah. Um, one of the other cool things is that contracts is back, um, okay, the contracts cool. mode. So once you've uh, exhausted all of your options within, uh, within Paris, you can then go around and create some contracts for people. Um, essentially what that allows you to do is ro- uh, go through the entire map um, and it will allow you to pick out an individual and then it will say, okay, right, um, you've got to assassinate them. So you then have to go and assassinate them. You have to kill them. Um, and then that will be marked as your contract. So then mm. you you have to exit the map and then you have, you, you've got to do it. You, it's a bit like Super Mario Maker in a way. You've got to be able to finish what you've done yeah. in order for it to be classed as a contract. Um, once you've done that, it will then allow you to put in certain um, uh, certain uh stipulations okay so like if you if you were wearing i don't know if, if you're wearing like a a techies crew top um for example when you killed the guy you can say do the people that are doing this contract have to be wearing that disguise uh. so you you can set it as granular as you want so like you can say right <laughs> that's an optional challenge that's a mandatory challenge and uh, there are some really tough contracts up already so like it's mm. It, it's a really good way of extending the gameplay. Like oh, one, I was just about to say that it adds longevity. Definitely. Yeah, I mean, like, the thing is, once you get once you get used to certain things within the world, the more you play it, the more you'll you like you walk past certain people at certain points, and then they'll be saying certain thing, and yeah. you know at that point it's all right. Okay, so that's there. So I've got to go over to there to do that now. And it, the way that it all fits together is a lot like the old Hitman games, which I was really hoping this would be. Yeah, um, definitely. And I, I absolutely love it to be honest. Like, there's there's not there's not a great deal that I've found that I don't enjoy about it. I mean, it's there was one issue that I had fairly early on where I thought, hang on a minute, this this seems a bit broken. Um, and it was where I'd gotten one of the, the higher level disguises, as I said earlier. 
Mm. Um, one, essentially, once you once had access to it, I could do whatever the hell I wanted, like go wherever I wanted. But okay. I but I thought then, like it allows you access to uh, like a private meeting with one of the targets, so it's very easy to take them out there. But after that, I was like, okay, I've got to take the other target out now. Mm. How do I do it? And I was yeah. I was I, I was stuck in a mindset of I've got this disguise now, so I have to stay in this and I have to try and figure <laughs> out a way of doing it. Whereas what I actually should have been thinking was, well, I don't need to stay in this disguise. I can go and get another disguise and yeah. completely change my look and, and do something as, as another person. Mm. Um so it's it's adjusting your own way of thinking about it as well. It's uh yeah. it's very clever in that regard, I find. Yeah, um, it's it's a really it's a really clever, really intelligent, well put together game. Um I've yeah I can't really I can't find a massive amount to fault about it at this point. Um, mm. The only thing that I'd, I'd criticise really has been the, the messaging on um, on the How release just, yeah. yeah the release yeah. schedule, um, which uh, we we might as well talk about it briefly, um, seeing as it's a review. Um, <laughs> it's it's fully episodic, so the base pack uh, the the intro pack as they're calling it, which is the prologue and the Paris mission will run you £12. And then um, I th- think every mission after this is going to be eight. I think it's about eight yeah. pounds. They've, they've, they've sent through the pricing and it's all in, uh, it's all in dollars. So um, the intro pack is $15, which is £12. And they've said the following locations are $10 each or local equivalent. So I'm guessing that's going to be about eight yeah. quid. Um, but then you've got an upgrade pack, which essentially allows that. That's essentially a season pass, right. uh, which I imagine they'll, release at the same point as the next uh, as the next map which is going to be in april okay um so yeah it, it's, it's one a month then i take it, is it? uh so far they've said that it's uh, sapienza is in april right. uh, marrakesh is going to be in may and they've said that there's going to be thailand the united states and japan um uh, in total there'll be seven episodes released in 2016 so right okay there's so, yeah there's seven including paris um, which gives you, you know, it, if they're all about the same size and scope as Paris, it's going to be. I I can't really see how this isn't going to end up on my game of the year list, right? Okay. Because um, if they're all that good, it's just going to be fantastic. Mm. Um, the one thing that did surprise me actually, and this was this was embargoed until now, is that they are launching a disc-based version in January next year. January, so, right? Yeah. So if if you're willing to. If you're willing to put on, you know, put your plans to get it on hold, and you know, maybe see what else comes out throughout the year, or if you if you're not sure about it, you want to see what the other packs are like, mm. then that option's going to be there in January. But to be honest, like this, the Paris level alone for me is it is so good, and like it's just such a massive like playground. Again, I keep using that word playground. It is just, but that's essentially what it is, right? It's, yeah, like it's, it's so much to do in like. Like you've only experienced a very small portion of Hitman so far, but you've yeah. already sort of said that there's just a lot to do. Yeah, I mean, so. I've 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 put in quite a few hours already, and uh, like I, to be honest, it took me about it took me about two or three hours to to suss it out enough to get to the point where I was like, okay, I know what I'm doing, I know how I'm going to go after these people, <laughs> and it, it took yeah, it easily took me two or three hours um, to to actually get rid of the targets first time round. Yeah, because that was my biggest worry with the way they're sort of doing it, like the episodic sort of route. Um, mm. I was a bit worried that like each one wouldn't be long enough or there wouldn't be enough in it to sort of keep people occupied. Um, but yeah. by the sounds of what you sort of said, um, yeah, like if you if you spent two hours alone just getting sort of used to everything that's sort of in that world, um, that, yeah, that yeah, I mean, like uh, you do get your money's worth out of it. Yeah, it's like I said, if you want to go in, find them, kill them quickly get out you can you can yeah. do that but that's not what hitman's about that's no. in my opinion that's never been what it's about it's all about using the elements of the world to to create perfect accidents if you like mm. i like to call, you know happy little yeah. accidents to quote no, just be be tactical about it and sort of find yeah. your, the sort of ways around it yeah yeah so really that's hitman um there's there's a few more new bits and everything that'll be in the written review um which will be up at the same time as the video so go check that out on the site um thank you for joining me gary it's much appreciated no worries at all mate and uh yeah thanks for watching guys we will see you again on uh, on nextgengamingblog.com and right here on youtube cheers bye cheers guys